Hi folks, Fred here. Welcome to Workout A. So today's strength section has six exercises, all for the upper body. Exercise one is an upright row. So you're going to relax your neck muscles, raise your weight up under your chin, and lift your elbows high. Exercise two is a back row. So it's a movement for your back muscles. You're going to bend from the hips. With a flat back, you're going to pull your weight in towards your belly. Make sure you squeeze your shoulder blades together as you roll the weight up and keep the elbows tight to the body. You're going to perform eight reps of the upright row and eight reps of the back row. Exercise three is a kneeling single arm shoulder press. It's a movement for the shoulders. It's also quite a challenging movement for your core. So make sure you take a deep breath in with each rep and exhale as you press over your head. You're going to perform eight each side on this movement. I'm performing all the movements today with my training bag filled up with a couple of books and a five litre water bottle. If you obviously, if you have a dumbbell or a kettlebell, you can use that. Another thing to know on the press is that as you press over your head, make sure that you lock your elbow out and shrug your shoulders up. You'll see here as I get into the last few reps, I'm finding them very, very challenging to finish the press. So make sure that you're, if you are using the training bag, make sure that it's reasonably heavy for this movement. You will have to go a little bit lighter for the next one, which is a lateral raise. So again, with the lateral raise, we're going to perform eight reps each side. You'll raise your weight out to the side, bringing it to shoulder level, and then back down to the start position. Make sure to keep your posture strong throughout the movement. Try not round your shoulders forward. Pull your shoulders back and down as you raise the weight up to shoulder level. Exercise five is another single arm movement. So it's single arm bicep curls. You're gonna curl, curl the weight up, bringing your palm into your shoulders and then control the weight back down. Try to perform the bicep curl with a two second tempo on the way up, pause at the top, and then two seconds on the way down. So two, one, two. Also, make sure not to swing from the hips. Don't use any momentum from your hips to perform the movement. You should just be curling up using the bicep muscle. Last exercise is a, another press-up movement. We couldn't have an upper body session without a press-up variation. Today we're going to go with a wide hand position press-up to a close hand position press-up. Like all press-ups, if needed, you can drop to your knees to perform the movement. The close hand position press-up will work the triceps more. And the wide position hand press-up will work your chest muscles more. Next up is the conditioning and core section. Enjoy, folks.